Welcome back dudes for another video on Roku. The last video, uh, which I'll link in, I guess, right above here. And you can go and check that out, but they were uh, eight, like a bunch of apps that uh, you can play for your dog. So check that out when you have a chance. Today, I'm gonna to be looking at my favorite Roku channels. Okay, so what we have is we have my top probably seven channels that I like to watch on a Roku uh, on a regular basis. These are paid and free uh, channels through the Roku store that you can get just by going and finding them in the streaming channel store. Okay, you go in here and you grab them and uh, you can organize them. So the first app that I have is Disney Plus and I just love what Disney has brought to the table, to the streaming apps table. They have original content, they have classics from the Disney vault, and they keep cycling them, you know, over the month's time. So every month there's new content that is from the vault and then there's new content that is um, just put out and nobody's ever seen. When we get into the app, we can see that uh, they have a nice little kind of uh, banner up top with a bunch of uh, great, great content, great videos. And they're going to be bringing Hamilton into the mix. Uh, they announced that a couple of weeks ago. I've seen it, so I'm excited to watch Hamilton and it's supposed to be very good, uh, like a very good rendition of our history and um, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, newly acquired, Disney got the Simpsons. Um, this one is new, I haven't seen this. This is the story of animated drawing and uh, I'm gonna put this in my list to watch actually right now. So let's do that. Oh, can I? Add? Oh, I must have added it already, cool, all right. Uh, the, the app is just awesome, the channel that they have here. You have favorites from Pixar, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars. The interface is amazing, and uh, if you haven't tried it, I would definitely check it out. It's, uh, it's definitely probably my favorite app. A little biased just because I love Disney so much, uh, but there is a lot of content here that you can watch. Uh, they have recommendations just like uh, the Netflix app and they recommend them based on what you've watched before. So uh, as much as I love Star Wars, they keep keep giving it to me. I've seen these a ton of times. Um, Sleeping Beauty is an amazing animation. They <laughs> were way ahead of their time and it shows. But uh, we'll just go through and look at these thumbnails. Uh, the old Fantastic Four, we have uh, the Avengers, you have a bunch of Pixar shorts, let's see, Toy Story, you have some originals, This uh, It's a Dog's Life with uh, Bill Farmer, who is the voice of uh, Goofy, is uh, kind of the star of this, and it's really cool. They go and look at different stories about dogs, it's, it's awesome, check it out. Prop Culture, this is like the Disney uh, props and backstage type uh, type show. It basically goes over a movie every single, every week. They go over different types of um, animated features like Tron and Pirates, Honey has Shrunk the Audience. I haven't seen Chronicles of Narnia yet, but there's a, basically they're looking for, uh, the host is a collector of props and he likes the history of them. So kind of goes through there and it's awesome. You can totally geek out on uh, props that you know, you may not even see like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It's really cool. So there's a there's a lot of great shows on Disney Plus, and I highly recommend it. Also, The Simpsons looks just phenomenal. The new Simpsons shorts they've done with Maggie. Uh, I I really I can't give Disney enough uh, claps. I can't give them enough um, just praise for what they've done with Marvel, with Star Wars, with The Simpsons. They they are hitting it everything right where it needs to be. And that's that's Disney Plus, it's, uh, it's awesome. You can you can have, make a watch list, you can look at the movies, you can check out series, you can look at originals. This, uh, this fall, we're gonna start seeing season two of The Mandalorian, which is just an excellent show. 
they did a phenomenal job with it. Uh, and then the, the follow-up series, which is like a docu-series with uh, The Mandalorian and Star Wars, they really go into a lot of that. But most of these shows are just A+, and they've done a really great job. Great job, Disney. Okay, you can also search. Uh, and that's about it for Disney+. Plus. It's awesome. Check it out. At least get a couple of months and, and see where it takes you. Okay, next app I'm going to be taking a look at is Amazon Prime Video. It comes with a lot of cool movies and TV. It also is a part of the um, free two-day, one-day delivery and it lets you either rent or own. For example, I have a library uh, of my own here under purchases and rentals, and it shows you all the different things that I've purchased. You can also rent, let me go back to Prime. You can also rent for a slight fee like $2.99, depending on if you want HD or not. And also there's a lot of free videos and TV that you can get as a part of being a Prime subscriber. Just like the other social um, apps that you can watch videos on, you have different categories like pop popular movies. This is a classic from the 80s. We have the, it looks like we have the Avengers is on Prime. It gives you some recommendations as well based on what you've watched. It knows I like Disney, Star Wars, things like that. You also have original series. This is all included with Prime. It gives that little label included with Prime. And if you're ever looking for something new, there is a ton of original content. It's on Prime Video has been out for five or six years. And uh, there's a lot of lot to choose from. Grand Tour is really good if you like cars. We also have uh, different types of TV shows, popular television. This is all included with Prime. So there's a there's a lot to watch, and uh, if you haven't taken advantage of it, it's probably a good idea, because I'm sure you will find something fun here. Lots of documentaries, and uh, like I said, you can rent or buy anything that's out on Prime. Uh, Lost is uh, one of the best. And it just keeps going on and on. They've got some children's, things like that. So that's Prime, and lots to watch on Prime. I really enjoy watching a lot of what they cycle. They also cycle their catalog as well for what's included with Prime. Okay, third app is uh, Sling, Sling TV. Sling TV is a streaming uh, subscription that you pay for month to month. And Sling, uh, unlike the other ones that are like video on demand, Sling is actually live streaming video. So some of the things you see here in Sling are actually on television networks, cable, things like that. So. Uh, I've had Sling as a favorite for a long time. I've tried DirecTV when they had a streaming option. I've tried the YouTube TV option. Uh, I think AT&T has one now. And I find that this is the best one for what I like to watch. So that's the important thing is what are the options for television? Uh, what channels do you get? Like this one you get you know, ABC News, AMC, TNT. You get TNT, TBS, BBC America, Food Network, travel, things like that. Uh, there's also a lot of movies on. So if I go all the way to the top, I can see on now and I can see if there's any kind of movies playing. And they have, you know, a section for movies. Independence Day, Wolf of Wall Street, oh, such a good movie, things like that. Uh, Sling is pretty simple. You can, you can go through the guide, just like a television, old school of pre-cutting the cord or you can go and just check uh, my TV which I have made some favorites so I have my channels and I can uh, and they're all live as you can see they're all live right here they also have a sports option uh, if you're into that kind of thing I'm not a huge sports fan I just don't have enough time for it not to say that I don't like it I do enjoy watching baseball but given the circumstances this year there's really not any sports happening and then also they have some on-demand options so you can watch things that happened recently that you may have missed uh, and they also have which is cool is they have an option for rentals also which is which is kind of new to sling in general you can rent different things for a price the best part about this is it also has a built-in dvr so you can actually record 
uh, if you go in here. I don't really record. I usually watch things either live on here or, you know, uh, on a different app. So, you know, it shows trending and things like that. Uh, not all channels allow you to record, but um, that's Sling. Really cool. Uh, I pay like 30, 30 something bucks a month and uh, I'm able to watch things like Food Network, uh, HGTV, which are very hard to find content on Netflix or Apple TV. So that's Sling. Really like it. Number three. Okay, moving on. Next we have Apple TV. And Apple TV has not been around a long time either, but it has been around probably just around the time that Disney Plus launched. I have to admit, I haven't watched quite as many things on Apple TV, but I will say that from what I've watched, the quality that Apple is putting out is awesome. And uh, I have to also say that it's hard to figure out what is included versus what you have to pay for. I also want to commend Apple for basically putting a app in an ecosystem that is not their own, um, which is Roku. You know, it's awesome. It feels like you actually are using an Apple TV. Now, I'm not saying Apple TV is not great, uh, the product itself, the hardware device. I just tend to really enjoy using the Roku. I've always been a Roku user and Roku has always done good by me. So what I was saying uh, for, you know, what you watch on here, you're just not sure whether you have to pay for it or not. Like, it says what to watch. Apple wants me to watch Irresistible with Steve Carell. When I open it, they want me to pay for it. And I'm looking for things I can binge. I don't know anything about this, but I can't watch it. I have to rent it. And uh, I'm just not, it's not easy for me. Um, that said, I really enjoy what they have on here and um, the couple things that I've actually watched are really good. So, uh, you know, The Morning Show is uh, really cool. It's got Steve Carell, who we're just talking about. You know, it's really cool. For All Mankind is awesome. It's all about if uh, the global space space race never ended and like first couple episodes you see that Russia lands on the moon. Amazing Stories. This is a Steven Spielberg redo. Uh, really well done love the different stories and they're uh, very high quality. This is the first thing I watched on uh, Apple TV and uh, it is extremely extremely well done. don't want to go into playing it but it has great uh, a great story and great quality and it's just it's a phenomenal phenomenal documentary. Not for the faint of heart by the way. Dickinson, I watched a couple of these. This is like a play on Emily Dickinson. Uh, they use a lot of her writing and clips from her, but it's kind of like up to date and funky and quirky. And if that's your thing, check it out. And like I said, I don't watch a ton of this. So a lot of these, I don't even know what they are. Never even watched them and they may even charge you, but oh, Oprah talks. That is uh, Apple TV. The other great thing about Apple TV is you have your own library, so you can go in and uh, see what you've purchased. Recent purchases, and you can see all, all the different things that you've bought. Elf, what a great movie. I need to watch that again. So that's Apple TV, and uh, I'm glad it's on the Roku. I love the quality of it. It works really well. Kind of feels like you have your own Apple TV, and um, I'm going to continue to keep that on top of my list. The next app is the Roku channel. And this really should be probably number one on my list just because even when you buy a, a Roku TV and you have no subscriptions, you can watch the Roku channel. And the Roku channel is simply the base channel for the Roku that has free ad supported content. And it's really uh, it changes pretty quickly. So they have some featured Global Concert was here, a little bit of featured things that they they typically will cycle out pretty frequently. And you're free to watch. Sometimes it's old, sometimes it's new, and there is a ton of uh, options here. New this month, you can watch uh, The Water Boy. Uh, Gremlins is a classic if you haven't seen it. I have to watch the rest of that. I watched a little bit. Swordfish, high-tech thriller, rumor has it, it's like a drama, and uh, Oh Contact, wow. This is like awesome. This movie was really cool. Snakes on a Plane, oh, what a funny, hilarious, ridiculous movie. The Shining, great movie. Love The Shining, The Juror. Uh, they also even have sitcoms. You can go back and watch Growing Pains from 1985. Uh, let's see how much they have. See all episodes. Oh, looks like they have all different seasons. 
So that's a good one. Facts of life. Oh, wow. Third rock from the sun. The rules. Dennis the Menace. Oh, wow. This is an old school. I think that is on Nickelodeon as a child. Things like that. Also, one of the things that uh, Roku has brought to their platform recently is live television. So you can watch live television, uh, you know, at your disposal, and this is included. This is included in when you buy your Roku. Deal or no deal, whether you get some kind of funky ones like TMZ, the sci-fi, but uh, Newsy's great. And um, yeah, so if you like live television and you're just coming from cutting the cord, this might be a good transition. Wipe out. And, you know, they change it up. They keep it fresh, and there's there's plenty to watch here. You don't even need a subscription to anything. You can just start here, buy a Roku, and watch this, and it will constantly change out the options. Um, you can also add. They even give you options for subscriptions. So, really cool. Love the Roku channel. All right. Um, next, I'm not sure if this will be the final one, but uh, it's certainly one of one of the best out there, I think. And that's Hulu. The reason I started watching Hulu was they didn't even have apps. It was not anywhere. This was years ago. And I was able to watch like f aired things like Grey's Anatomy is on. I missed it. I, where can I watch it the next day? Well, that is all about Hulu. They keep adding all the new shows that you want to watch. It's just 24 hours later. You can watch them. Hulu has picks. They have sci-fi, and their interface is pretty cool too. It's just very simple. You just go in here and you go, you watch, you find out what you want to see, and uh, you kind of pick and choose what you want to watch. Yep, so that's Hulu. Hulu is awesome. You can even uh, build your own little list too, like if you want to come over here and maybe I want to watch The Handmaid's Tale. Oh, come on, I just want to see the splash screen. Oh, it's going to start playing. You can just browse as well. I'll go to TV shows. Go in here, is it going to go in? Oh yeah, so I can add it to my stuff. Got it. And that's uh, that's Hulu. I think that is going to do it. I was going to show you Netflix, uh, but we all know what Netflix is. I think they have reigned supreme for a very long time. At some point, I was actually a huge user of Netflix discs. Yes, that was a thing. We used to have a queue. The discs would be sent out to your mail. You would watch them. You would put them back in the envelope and you would ship them back to Netflix and then they would send you the next item in your queue. So these days, it's all about streaming. Do they still send discs? I don't know. Hmm, interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. As well as if you hit the notification bell, you'll, you'll be notified of all my latest uploads. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.